Where do you begin with John Henry, The Life and Times? If, if there was ever a book written, it'd be a bestseller, bigger than Bill Clinton's current book out. One thing about John Henry, he always, of course, you know, loved the blues. When I think of the blues, uh, of course, ZZ Top had a song out called One Foot in the Blues. Uh, John did not have one foot in the blues. He didn't have two feet in the blues. John was the blues. And yeah. something he always looked forward to were the concerts. And that was something that, of course, you know, all the staff members here at KMOD always looked forward to because it's kind of like a hall pass to get out of class and go out and have a few drinks, enjoy the blues, and enjoy the uh, friendship that each other had. And we uh, always got a chance to go up on stage and introduce the groups. And we also did the interviews and, of course, you know, did the uh, breaks on the air. Yeah, you and John were pretty much the stage intro kings around here. Uh, we had a lot of fun. In fact, that's what I was getting ready to allude to is because uh, as MC, you had so many things. You had so many responsibilities. Uh, one of those responsibilities, and John was the very best. He taught me everything that I knew. One of the responsibilities was John always told me, he says, you go and talk to the promoter and check and see what he'd like for us to convey to the audience. And, of course, Larry Schaefer sitting next to me, how many times did we go up to you and say, what is it that you want us to say next? Well, since we did, we've done 10, 10 years of Blues Festival, at least 10 times. Yes, yes. And, of course, Larry would always say, the first thing I want you to go out and say is, we're almost there, we're almost there, we need more people, we're just about to break even. As you, as you can tell <laughs> by that cigar. I even get out of this thing. So. As you can see by that guitar, or the uh, cigar that he has in his hand in his mouth, how chewed up it is, that's how nervous he was always. But somehow, some way, we were able to convey that to the audience, and you can always tell by that that we always had another, another Smokehouse Blues Show, and, of course, another Blues Fest. Well, and, and, and another, some other things that we had is we had that great voice. And, and he that, had the voice. And Dave did, too. And, and Dave's been one of those people that always show up when I'm looking for a DJ about three minutes till showtime. So, Dave, <laughs> hey, I'll hug you, give me a hug for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you thank John Henry for that because, as I mentioned, John taught me everything I knew. In fact, two years ago, John and I were standing behind stage. We are getting ready to introduce Eric Sardinas. And I want I probably introduced maybe you know thousands of concerts and as uh, one of the things before the concerts or before we go up on stage, John and I would always you know make a path back and forth, smoke a cigarette in one hand and of course have a drink in the other, and finally you'd go over in your mind what you're going to say to the audience. And I looked at John and said, John, does it ever scare the hell out of you going up on stage? And John's reply as usual, son, <laughs> hell yes. <laughs> so I was glad to hear that because I wasn't the only one. And one of the groups that we got uh, to know real well and one that he really loved was a group called Storyville. They came here to Tulsa many, many times. They were here in the studio many a times, of course, mm -hmm. featuring Stevie Ray Vaughan's uh, band Double Trouble, uh, Chris Tommy, Tommy Shannon, Shannon. Chris, yes. And one of the songs they had, which I uh, really think about John, too, from Storyville, It's Always a Good Day for the Blues. That was one of John's favorites because he always said, it's always a good day for the blues. Yes. Smokehouse Blues. <laughs> Sometimes you fly so high You can't find a place to land Got money in the bank I drink in your hand But when the love gets low Someone's gonna lose Cause I love you drifting And it's a good day for the blues When you shuffle your car You always have a winning hand Is on a road. You never have to take a stand. But when the chips get low, you know you're gonna have to choose. Cause I love you to stand. And it's a good day for the blue.
5 KMOD Smokehouse Blues. That's nice Storyville. Song. We're going to do another shot from Storyville. Uh, one of Rock and John Henry's favorite bands. Of course, he loved uh, Leighton and Shannon from the Stevie Ray Vaughan days as well. Of course, Double Trouble. Those guys uh, out touring right now. The Kenny Wayne Shepherd. In fact, they're uh, doing a CD together right now. But Malford Milliken on vocals right there. Malford, what a tremendous guy he is. Reminds me of Rock and John. You can always go up and talk to him, no matter when, no matter where. And he was the nicest guy ever, just like Rockin' John Henry. No never, way. ever had an enemy. Never. Well, tell us about this next song. Next song, it doesn't matter you know, where you go in Lifetime. As uh, Jimmy had mentioned yesterday in his eulogy uh, at the uh, funeral, that John Henry had a gift of talk. And he would talk. And he would talk. <laughs> and he had a lot of wisdom whenever he talked. So as you go in life, as uh, John Henry has left us temporarily, might say, you can always keep the the words of wisdom throughout your life because as Storyville uh, says in this next song, there's always a light from heaven and it's always shining on you. And John Henry's life and his light will always be shining upon us somehow, some way. Thanks, Dave.